G'day everyone, it's Taylor MD here, and welcome to the Hearth and Home update on how to get maximum comfort level in Valheim. Whether you're a new player or a returning veteran, this video is for you. I've split it up into three easy sections so you can jump right to the part that's relevant for you. First up, we'll be doing a refresher on why comfort is so important in Valheim and why the rested bonus is a make or break mechanic that you must understand and fully utilize. Secondly, we'll be covering just the changes that have been introduced within House and Home for those of you who just need a quick refresher. And for the final section, we'll be running through every single piece of comfort furniture so you can get a really nice visualization on what you need to do to hit that max level. As with my previous video on this topic, it's worth mentioning right at the start here that legitimately in-game, you can only get up to comfort level 19. But if you're willing to use console commands, you can get that up to comfort level 20. Now for those of you who don't feel comfortable using dev commands, do not lose hope. Based on what this item is, it's highly likely that we'll see it introduced legitimately into the game towards the end of the year. So hopefully we can get that 19 permanently increased to 20 without using any sort of trickery. So on to section 1. Why is rested so important and what on earth does it have to do with your comfort level? The answer to this is very simple. The rested bonus gives you insane buffs to your character that you would be very silly to ignore. It gives you 50% health regen, 100% stamina regen, and it also gives you a 50% experience gain to help you level up those skills faster. And how you get the rested bonus is very simple. The first level of comfort gives you 8 minutes of rested, and then each level of comfort on top of that gives you one extra minute of rested. So at the minimum level, you get 8 minutes with all these awesome buffs, and at the maximum level, you get 27 minutes. So as you can see, it's so important when you're out adventuring to get that maximum level of comfort before you leave your base. So what exactly has changed for comfort levels in the house and home update? The most obvious is the maximum level has been increased by one, which is great for those of us who like to spend a great deal of time away from our base and just want to concentrate on adventuring. There's also been several changes to how the items calculate their comfort and a few new items as well. Most notably, we have two new items introduced into the game. The hot tub, which when lit gives you plus two comfort level, and the crystal wall, which gives you a plus one comfort level. There's also been some changes to how some existing items are calculated. The most disappointing one is that the hanging brazier now counts as a source of fire, which means it no longer gives you any additional comfort beyond that of a campfire. So the only reason to now use a hanging brazier is purely for aesthetic purposes and not for comfort. There's also been a few new pieces of furniture added that have been grouped in with existing comfort level categories. So we now have a dark wood chair that gives you the same comfort level as the original chair, noting these do not stack, so you get your comfort from one or the other, not from both. However, both the chair and the dark wood chair have now been put into the same comfort category as the raven throne and the new stone throne. So this means that the chair and the dark wood chair, comfort level gets override and replaced when you place down a raven throne or a stone throne. So when you get to your end game, you get no additional comfort bonuses from chair or dark wood chair. This same principle also now applies to the table and the two new variants of the table that have been introduced that give more comfort than it. So the round table and or the long heavy table now both override the comfort of just the regular table. So overall the changes are not too significant, but the rejigging of how the comfort levels are calculated and the combining of some comfort items into the same categories also might cause some confusion. So I hope I've cleared some of that up for you now. So now let's look at the overall picture. I will go through every single comfort item in the game and introduce them to you one by one, roughly in the order that you would do it in a normal survival world. We start off with the humble fire, the most fundamental comfort item in the game. If you do not have a source of fire, you will not even hit comfort level 1. So if we place that fire down and sit cross-legged, we get our first comfort level of 1. 
You can also use a hang in brazier in place of a fireplace because of some of the changes they made in house and home. This one no longer gives additional comfort. So essentially these two items are the same, just that the hanging brassiere is ridiculously expensive, so should really only be used for aesthetic purposes now. If we move into the shelter to get our sheltered bonus, that will give us an additional plus two for a three level of comfort. And now we move on to some of our more basic of furniture items. We just have our regular straw bed here for a plus one. We have a bench or a stool. These ones, singularly all together, give plus one, so they don't stack. So if you have just one of these, or if you have both of them, it will only give you the plus one. And that same principle applies to the chair. The regular fine wood chair, and the new dark wood chair. These ones, together or singularly, will give you plus one. And then we have the sturdy table. This one also giving you another plus one. And probably our first decorative items, we have the banner. These ones will give you a single plus one, no matter how many or how many different varieties you have. And now we move on to one of the cooler new items in the game, the crystal wall. So this one gives you an additional plus one, and it just looks really cool. And then we have our three rugs. Each of these ones also giving you plus one each. So we have the Lox rug, we have the wolf rug, and we have the regular old deer rug. And now we've got some more new items. We have the round table and the heavy long table. These both giving you a plus two, but again, they do not stack with each other. Having these singularly all together will still only give you plus two, with the same theory again applied to the Raven Throne and the Stone Throne. These ones giving you plus three, but only once. Then we come to the Dragon Bed for another plus two, and a half for a further plus two. And we do have to put some wood in that one for it to work. And then we come to the final new item of the Hearth and Home update, the Hot Tub. Very cool item here. And we do have to throw some wood in the back of that one as well to get it lit up and give us the comfort level. So as you can see, all these items together give us a plus 18. So we're very close to our maximum comfort level here. To get us to plus 19, we need an item called a maypole, which you can't craft or build, but it does very rarely spawn naturally in meadow villages. And I'll play you some clips of some of these that I've found around the place, so you can see what they look like and know where to find them. But as these are a random generation spawn, you may or may not want to build your base near where a maypole spawns. So in any adventure world, you can easily get to comfort level 18. 19 if you're okay with building in a randomly chosen location where a maypole has spawned. Otherwise, you can world edit these ones in. So I am going to show you how to do that one now, because I'm very picky with where I build, and I don't like losing out on the comfort that a maypole gives you. So the process to access the console commands to be able to edit your maypole in is quite simple. Firstly, you have to go to Steam, right-click on Valheim, open up its properties, and very simply in the launch options, type dash console. You now have access to the console in-game, which can be accessed by pressing F5. You then have to type dev commands to enable the commands, and you also have to type debug mode to turn on debug mode. From there, you press F5 again to close down the console, and press B so no placement cost is true comes up on your screen there. And that gives you access to all the recipes in-game, including a maypole. And so we can just build this one now anywhere we want inside our base, and that gives us plus 19 comfort level. And this is the same process for editing the final item to get us to plus 20. Except this time, it's not an item that is spawned naturally. This is a console command only item, and it's the Yule Tree. Now you can see why at the start of the video, I was hopeful we might get this in by the end of the year, because of its theme. So that will take us all the way to a comfort level of 20. It's so amazing that they increase the comfort level by one, and the new furniture items that go along with it are quite amazing.
Now, because some furniture items are grouped together and get superseded, we can actually delete a lot of the items along the right hand side here and we will stay at the plus 20 comfort level. So the fire and the hang in brazier get updated to a half. So those have no effect on comfort now that we have a half there. The bed gets updated to a dragon bed. The stool and the bench get upgraded to a table. The chairs get updated to the thrones. And the table also gets superseded by the heavy long table and the round long table. So as you can see, we still sit at a comfort level of 20 here, even with all these lower tier items deleted. So absolutely essential for your early game, but when you get to late game, only use them for aesthetic purposes. And if you're purely after comfort level, then only use the items that you see on the back and the right hand side here. Well there you have it everyone, comfort level 20, with all the items you needed to achieve it, visualize before you here. In any adventure world, you can get to comfort level 18. If you don't mind building next to a pre-generated maypole, you can get to comfort level 19. And if you're willing to use confort commands, you can get to comfort level 20 by using the Yule Tree. I hope this video was suitably informative and enjoyable, and if you do have any more questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments and I will reply to them. Thanks for watching everyone, see you Vikings in Valheim.